Hello. Today we're going to explore using the mutable instruments rings as a reverb. For this patch, there's a few tips to get the best results. You can take the odd output for a mono reverb, or both the odd and even outputs for a pseudo stereo reverb. For this demo, I'll be using both outputs for a wider sound. I like keeping the polyphony set to one. At two and four notes, there can be a ping pong effect that sounds a little unnatural. The resonator mode is very important. The sympathetic strings mode, or the yellow-orange mode, will give you the most natural reverb with the most sweet spots. It takes modulation well and can even get into smeared multi-tap delay territory. This is what I'll spend most of the time demonstrating. I'll give a short example of the other two modes as well. The modulated inharmonic string mode can get you the reverb effect, although it has a much smaller range and goes into a noisy, and as the name implies, in harmonic direction when structure is set too high or too low. The modal resonator can create a chorus and flanger effect with certain settings and modulation, but mostly doesn't work for reverb. I recommend turning frequency all the way down. This effectively makes the resonator sound bigger and more room-like. And don't forget that the FM input knob will function as a very small offset when nothing is patched in and you can turn that down or up for a slight tweak. I like keeping the brightness above 12 o'clock to keep the reverb more present and lively. Really anywhere from 12 to five sounds pretty good. Damping has a sweet spot between about three o'clock and five o'clock. Too low and the effect is very subtle, while all the way up it becomes a little overpowering and essentially drones which can, cr can create a infinite reverb effect. Now you can use this to create interesting gated effects by sending an inverted envelope into the damping CV input, and I'll use ears to generate this envelope later. Structure and position are both a little variable depending on the timbre you want. Structure provides the overall flavor of the reverb, and if you want to modulate this, I recommend using a stepped CV source. And if you want to modulate this, I recommend using a step CV source. Position, on the other hand, can be set pretty much anywhere. And I'll show this modulated with an LFO from Tides later on. This will create a coursing effect that sounds very dreamy and shoegazy. So without further ado, let's hear some patch examples.
Thank you.
Now that you've heard how ring sounds as a reverb, try it out for yourself and see if you like the effect. It's a fun way to use rings besides as a sound source and can create some really unique effects once you start modulating different parameters. If you do try out this patch, please let me know what you think of it and add any variations you try in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.